Okay. <laughs> Why, hello, everybody, and welcome to the return to Bloody Nights. Um, that was a cool little intro there. Um, we have been uh, we have been stoofed, as they call it. Um, this is the first NAF thing I'm actually playing in quite a bit. I, I uh, get the dolphin out of the room here. I am sorry about uploads. I have been uploading nothing, um, and I I am sorry about that. Um, it's just been it's been hard to find some stuff to make videos on and finding time and energy and stuff like that. But let's not talk about that. That's not why we're here. Um, but uh, this game, I I'm I'm late. I know I'm late. This game came out two days ago, and I wanted to play it right when it came out. And I was like, I'm gonna wait for it to come out, I'm gonna play it when it comes out, and then a flipping just a bunch of crap happened, and now I, then I couldn't, so. Yay, love that, but, uh, yeah, let's just, uh, jump right into this. Hey, Henry. What's up? William, it's good to hear your voice again. How have you been? It's been a bit stressful, to be honest, but just busy with the new animatronic project. It's going really well, and um, I'm excited to finally open up my own restaurant. I see. Well, we've had a pretty good run with Freddy Fazbear's Pizza so far. It's been doing really well. Yeah, I've heard. I'm actually a bit jealous, to be honest. I really want my place to be as successful, if not more successful, than Freddy's. I'm sure it will be, William. You've put a lot of work into this. Thanks. I really hope so. That's great to hear. I'm sure it'll be a success, but I wanted to talk with you about something important. Sure. What is it? I've been reading about some incidences at other restaurants where animatronics have been malfunctioning and causing harm to visitors. I want to make sure that our establishments are safe for everyone who comes through our doors. And especially yours, too. I understand your concerns. Rest assured, I'm being extremely careful with the programming and engineering of the animatronics. Safety is my top priority. I still want you to take your time with the project. Rushing things could lead to mistakes. I promise I won't rush anything. I want this restaurant to be just as perfect as you do. But I do need to move quickly if we're going to open in time. I know, but please keep safety in mind. Above all else. I don't want any accidents or injuries to happen. I understand, Henry. You can trust me to handle everything properly. Is there anything else you wanted to talk about? No, that's all for now. Just keep me updated on the progress of the project, okay? Will do, Henry. Talk to you soon. Take care, William. Huh. All right. Monday. William and Henry having a little chat. Oh, what the fuck? Whoops. Hello there, I'm Waffle Brokey, the CEO of Fazbear Entertainment, and welcome to Fred Bear's Family Diner, the job of your dreams. Or so I hope. Because many things are currently happening, and I can't personally be present everywhere, I leave you these pre-recorded messages to cover any questions you may have and respond to any incidents that may occur during your night shift adventure. You might be asking yourself, Wattle, just how difficult is this job? What was in that phone book of a contract I just signed today? Am I in danger? Let me answer those questions with a question. Who wants to earn some money? That's right, dough, moolah. Greenbacks, all for just sitting and waiting in a well-protected room with a comfortable office chair and a cup of coffee. It's much better than sitting around and not being able to pay your bills, isn't it? And hey, we're not cheap here at Fazbear Entertainment. We'll pay you a cool 110 bucks per week, which I know is a lot, so just don't go and spend all of it on something frivolous, like you usually do. We value and take care of all our staff, and I want to inform you that our equipment here is very damn expensive. It's top-of-the-line stuff, and we've had our fair share of knuckleheads trying to break in at night. So, you better keep those beepers peeled and glued to that monitor on your desk. Don't you dare smudge it up, or you'll be cleaning it with your own toothbrush. If anything happens to our property, then it is your responsibility. Your job here is very important. 
And if you can finish this week without any problems, you'll be rewarded with a voucher for some of our delicious pizzas. Thanks. Trust me, it's worth it. All right, listen up, kid. My advice to you is simple. Don't go wandering around unless you have to. If you see something or someone trying to break in, then it's time to take action. But until then, just sit tight and don't touch anything you don't need to. If anything goes wrong, we'll know exactly who to blame. Just sit tight, keep your eyes peeled, and don't make me regret hiring you. I hope you don't want to be the one responsible for messing things up around here. Uh, all right, listen up. We need to talk about your safety, and we need to talk about it now. In front of you, you'll see a How was that? video surveillance system that'll let you keep an eye on everything happening in this place. And when I say everything, I mean everything. No slacking off on the job. Or you're what about the, these rooms down here? Now, those mechanical doors on your left and right might look like something out of a sci-fi movie, but they're not toys. Don't get too close to them when pressing the button, or you'll be singing soprano for the next week. And trust me, I don't want to be paying for any medical bills. Speaking of which, do you have insurance? Because no. once you step foot in this place, you're on your own. If things go south, you're not getting a dime out of me. Oh, one more thing. If you notice your vision getting blurry or your eyes begin to water and burn, don't worry. That's just a side effect of working in this environment. But if it persists for a week, start worrying and go see your personal doctor. Remember, we're all in this together and safety comes first. The last thing I wanted to tell you was about the mascots we have here. I'm talking about the real stars of the show. Fred Bear, the singing bear, and his best friend, Spring Bonnie, the guitarist. These two have been entertaining children in this town for years, and now they're getting an upgrade. After we renovated nice. the entire place, we added some great new features, including making them more interactive with our customers and staff during the day. But since we have so much to do and so little time, we decided to test some of the features during your night shift. So if you see them wandering around the pizzeria through the cameras, do yourself a favor and just let those handsome devils go about their business. Here's what you have to do. When those animatronics start lurking near your office, shut the door and keep them out. During the day, those guys will pop up in your office to say hello to the security guard like they're your best buds. It's all part of the entertainment, you know? Okay, kid, I gotta go handle my own business now, and let's get this night shift started and hope for the best. And hey, if things get a little too intense, just remember, you could be working in a morgue instead. So have some fun, enjoy the ambience, and keep your hands off those animatronics. And most importantly, stay alert. We don't want any accidents happening on our watch, do we? Good yes. Luck, kid. You'll need it. See you tomorrow. All right. Thanks for absolutely effing nothing, a hole. All right. Um. This is a thing I gotta keep. Wait. Did I trigger that or? <laughs> But hang on, about 1987. No? Okay. I have some more cassette tapes there. Okay, we got. Morning. Door will crush you in half. Thanks. Oh, hey. Sup, bud? Buddy, buddy, boo bear. What's this code? This won't be as simple as 1983, will it? Um, nothing too crazy happening just far. We got the bobbleheads, we got nose honk, we got everything up to code. We got certif cert certificate of completion, William Afton. Completing a uh, murdering school, maybe. Huge success. It's hard to overstate my satisfaction. Maybe if I could reach the goddamn button on this fan. Pass this stupid portrait. Oh. Sup, dude? Oh, he's moving! He's like breathing. Well, that's creepy. Could you not do that? Do me a favor and just not? 
These cameras suck. Mr. Top of the Line Equipment over here. Could have made better pipping cameras than having Crayola Crayon. Really does remind me of um FNAF one. How you're just given nothing other than a grain of salt for breakfast. What's on this piece of paper here? Uh, probably legal stuff that nobody cares about. Can you calm down? Please. Okay, it's 5 a.m. I don't seem to have power. Are you see this generator heat thing? Probably gonna happen if I close the doors, I'm assuming. I don't really see a generator anymore. We got parts and service here. We got some. I think that's an endoskeleton over there. We got various body parts. Various robot body parts. A? Hey, what was that? Thought I heard someone laughing at me. We got banjo. Safeties are top priority. We have been scratched out days without a safety incident. Oh, that's good. Is it an evacuation map there? I can't see it though. I'm not sure what this is. Oh. Oh. Well, this is fun. Puppet show. Fun is about to start. Oh! Whoa! He hit his head. He's back there now, okay. 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 God damn. <laughs> he just started screaming and then he ran at the door. Foxy calls, said he wants his job back. The fuck? Is this like a... One of those ghost detector thingies? What the hell is this? I feel like this is one of those things people use to like detect ghosts or something. Red Bear? Okay. Tuesday. Let's do it. That went well. How's the progress of the new location coming? Hey Henry, everything's going well. The animatronics are on track, and I'm confident about meeting our opening date. That's good to hear. However, I need to emphasize that safety is our top priority. And we can't afford any mistakes. Pressure to meet the deadline might cause you to rush things. I understand your concern, but rest assured that safety is always my top priority. I know what I'm doing. I'm pressing X to doubt. Risks. I hope so, but I've been hearing some worries from others that your methods of work could lead to some problems. They're also worried that your recent divorce might affect your judgment. My personal life has nothing to do with my work. As for my methods, they have always worked in the past and will work now. I have everything under control. I see. Just remember that I'm here to support you. And the company. If you need any help or advice, don't hesitate to ask. Thank you for your offer, but I've got it covered. I'll keep you updated on the progress. Please do. And keep in mind that safety comes first. We don't want any injuries or accidents. Of course, Henry. Talk to you soon. Take care, William. William is, um... Not going to oblige. <laughs> to tell you that right now. Oops, I can't, I can't keep on doing that. Hello, it's Waffle Brogy here, and welcome to your second night on the job. You seem to have everything under control, don't you? That's what I like to see, someone who can handle themselves. I'll keep it short and only tell you what is absolutely necessary. The main two animatronics also have a second functionality that'll blow your mind. Literally. You can actually wear them like a costume. <sighs> I know what you're thinking. 
Waffle, that sounds like the greatest thing ever. But, hold your horses for a second. These newer models aren't quite perfected yet. They've got a bit of a... Well, let's call it a design flaw. You see, if you're not careful, they could crush your chest, and you'll bleed out until the dawn. Trust me, it's not a pretty picture. We had an incident with one of our employees not too long ago. Poor guy ended up in a hospital bed with his legs crushed. It's tragic, but informative. Now, I'm not saying you shouldn't try it out if you're feeling brave, but just know that if something goes wrong, it's on you. Actually, don't even touch them. We're not taking any responsibility here. So if we find you the next morning, dead, inside of one of our mascots, don't come crying to us. You were informed, and we are clean. Uh... Yeah. Well, True. I can't come crying and to you from dead. Was added to the cast recently, and not just any mascot, mind you. This one's special. Made solely by one of the founders himself, Henry Emily. Now, I don't know much about it, but what I do know is that it's been causing some trouble. So much so that we had to lock it up in your office. But don't worry, we've got a prize corner set up there, and it's a win-win situation for all of us, right? Just make sure you keep an eye on that little bugger and put it back in its place if it tries to wander off. We don't want a repeat of that old tale where a puppet crept into a sleeping man's mouth, do we now? Oh, I know that about that one. Don't worry. We'll get through this. We always do. Just keep an eye on those animatronics and stay out of trouble. And remember, I'm always here for you. Yeah, I'm gonna go get some shut eye. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Goodbye. Hmm. I can't tell if this guy moderately cares about my safety or he just wants me to die. It's, it's definitely one of them. Can't tell which one. Um, I feel like there's gonna be some stuff hidden on these cameras. We got the fudge is is that hair bolt? Some 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 something some, something something bolt I think I can't read that. Um, we got is that happiest day? Is that what that says? Uh, God, I cannot read these. Uh, oh, sit and survive. Look at that. Hey. <laughs> I know that one. Um, I cannot, cannot read that one. The one over there. I think that says happiest day. It also might not, though. Oh, no, I, I failed English. Um, well, that seems to be going on. The fudge was that? I heard like a boing, like a spring. Alright. Everything seems fine so far. I thought there's gonna be like uh, some secrets on these cameras though. Why the hell do these... Th these dolls are not appealing, they're Sonic. We had Sonic. Any other... So what now? Okay, Fredbear's moving, and they're both moving. Okay, pain. I want to look around over here. What the fuck is that? Um, oh, we got Cuphead up there. Is that the the Packers Peanut Man? Uh, I want to see any other Easter eggs in here. We got Sonic, we got Cuphead. We got the the rainbow from FNAF World. That thing can go actually burn in hell. Puppet show. I got egg. I don't know if that's supposed to be Flumpty. Or if it's just an egg. Oh, that's... Oh, that's flipping, um... What's his name from Pop Goes? The flipping... Ah. Uh, guy from Pop Goes. You know what I'm talking about. I think that's what that is. If it been skunk or whatever. I cannot I think remember what his name is. Uh any other stuff I hidden around in here? This is cool though, I love this. 
I love games that hide like little Easter egg and stuff like that. Red bear. Red bear. Oh hey, oh hey, buddy. Why are you waving to me? Why? 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 I guess you're pro. But they just program to wave at cameras. Hey, I gotta. I hear a music box. I hear, I hear a music box. Puppets. Red Bear is breathing down the neck of this camera. Where's Bonnie? Oh, he's off. Oh, Wait, you can see him. That is. Wait. Cool story, bro. I swear, I could see Fred Bear on both of these cameras. Like, I could see him here and on this camera. I don't know if that might have been, have been Bonnie, though. Puppet? I hear a music box, but... Oh, what the fuck? None of that. None of that, dude. What the fuck was that? Oh, dude, please, could you not, Fredbear, piss off. What the hell was that? That was like... He, like, pulled up his flippin' face head mask. That was flippin' cool. Fredbear, could you calm the hell down, please? Jesus Christ, man. Man went wacko mode. I wanna find Easter eggs, man. What does that heart say? I don't know. Sonic. Who is that? The little head there. I feel like I recognize that for some, something. Oh god, they're, they're both hanging out. Like, like, look. Okay, no, that's not a thing. I thought I could see Fredbear on both of these cameras. Like, I could see him on this camera, then I could see him down there in the hallway of this camera. That, 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 that was just Bonnie. Uh. I feel like I recognize that guy. Also, I said Packer's Peanut Man, I meant the Planter's Peanut Man. <laughs> I don't know why it's in Packer's Peanut. Planter's Peanut Man. We got another one of these. I don't even know what the hell these things are called. I'm assuming these, like, must be paranormal detectors or something. I'm assuming. Funny. Is it Pancho Haunted? Is that why you play so well? I'm not so sure. Seems clean. I think maybe, hopefully. All right. It is Wednesday, my dudes. Hello, William. How are you doing today? Hello, Henry. I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. How about yourself? I'm doing all right. I wanted to touch base with you about something. I heard that some of the employees saw a preview of the new animatronics design, and they were a bit concerned that. They looked a little too scary and robotic. What were your thoughts on that? Well, I can understand why they might think that. But I assure you the final project will be much more child-friendly. The employees only saw a work in progress and were still fine-tuning the details. I hope you're right, William. We don't need any negative experiences from our young guests. As I mentioned before, I've been studying child psychology to ensure that the animatronics create a positive and safe experience. Mm. That will achieve that goal. I believe my robots will be the best around. Alright then. I trust your expertise in this area.
On a personal note, how are you holding up with... with the, uh, divorce proceedings? It's been a difficult time, Henry. I won't lie about that. But I'm doing my best to keep my focus on my work and my children. They're the most important thing to me. So is Charlotte for me. She's my only family. I just want you to remember that it's okay for you to take some time to yourself. You can't pour from an empty cup. Don't forget to take a break and recharge. Thank you for the reminder. I appreciate your concern. I'll try to take care of myself as well, and my work, too. No problem, William. We'll talk again soon. Take care. You too, Henry. Can I just say the voice acting here is goddamn amazing? Like, you don't get that, where there's two two different characters, two different people, that their voice, like, they, they coordinate Greetings, so perfectly. Dear employee. Congratulations on making it to night three. The simple fact that you're here listening to me means that you've made a glorious contribution to Fazbear Entertainment. On behalf Bruh. of the founders and myself as the CEO of the company, I want to thank you for your participation and dedication to this job. We hope that we can count on you for another week of your excellent service. Unless you've got some big dreams you're chasing after. So, tell me, have you seen anything weird the past couple of nights? You know, I want to know every little detail going on in this fine establishment. But if you didn't report nothing this morning, I'll assume everything's all good. Speaking of which... Have you ever wondered how this place operates during the day? Despite all the rumors and investigations, it's actually pretty great. I mean, I was taking a stroll around here earlier and saw some kids jumping into the ball pit and having a blast. They even pretended it was a time machine. Kids these days. <laughs> huh. I tell nice you, one. sometimes those kids have more imagination in their pinkies than most adults have in their whole bodies. It's a shame we lose that spark as we get older. But hey, that's what Fazbear Entertainment is all about. Bringing a little magic back into our lives, right? And you're a crucial part of making that happen. So keep up the good work. Actually, I have a little something for you in case you're interested in earning an additional $20. We're recording some lines for the instruction tapes regarding the spring lock technology. And I think you'd be perfect for the job. You got a great voice, kid. All you have to do is read some text into a recording machine, and I'll make sure you're compensated for your time. You don't gotta learn nothing fancy, just be the voice on the tapes. We wanna send them to every pizzeria that uses new spring oh. costumes. How cool is that? Alright, he'll meet our new He's... assistant. Her oh, that's, Gary. um, that's his, his, um... Exactly what to do. Great then. Keep up the good work and keep on keeping on. Until next time, stay safe and don't forget to check those cameras. I'll talk to you soon. That's the, uh, the guy's avatar, right? Guy, um, who made the game? Or is that Mr. Whiskers or someone? Or someone else? I know the... I'm gonna mispronounce this guy's name. I apologize if you're watching this. Um, K K Kozowski, the, the, the guy who, who, who made the game. Um, or one of the people who made the game. The main guy. Um, I think that's his, uh, his avatar, or like a... An original character that he's made or something like that. This little face is hidden there. I see that. That's cool. It reminds me of like, you know, like the Fibbin baby from Toy Story, or one of them. What the fuck? Where do you go? Red Burr. You know that's. What the fuck? How'd he go? Oh! Okay. And the generator heat does go down, thankfully. You go back in your goddamn box, you stupid puppet. I'll tell you some other references in that little toy trailer that I'm not getting. Because I've been living under a rock my whole life.
Ooh, wee, ooh, wee, jeez, Frick. Ooh, wee. Uh, I see a poster there. I want to explore around down here, but I don't think I have the time. Ah! The fudge was that? Okay, I want to know if Freddy's gonna do that thing again. Red bear. Bunny? These guys are quite loud whenever they attack. <laughs> Accidentally hit the bobblehead. <laughs> oh! What the fudge was that? Okay. What the fudge was that, dude? I've been a piece of crap talking in my ear. Oh, hey, Bonnie. How do you go F yourself? How did the camera? The camera's... You broke the camera. We broke the camera. Uh. This is not. This is not hap. This is this this, this. this is not. What happened to this camera? It's just dead. Did your Fredbear headbutt the camera again? I mean, he definitely do that. Jesus Christ. Who the hell was that talking to my goddamn ear hole, dude? And could you please not? Oh, hey. Hi. Hi, bud. I'm gonna close that. Oh. Oh, what the fuck? Dude, what the heck? <laughs> what? The fudge was that? Well, the camera's back. What the hell is that? What the fuck? What in the goddamn? What in the goddamn? Was that bullcrap, dude? First, we get Bonnie literally eating the camp. No, you could. The fudge is that noise? What are those? Oh! I saw that, you piece of crap. Wait, that was actually a... I was actually getting attacked by something there. That was actually something. He banged on the door. It's 6am. Flippin... Stares at Wash intensively. What the fuck? Dude. What the hell? Dude, this game. <laughs> what the fudge is this? Is this the part in the service room? It must be. This guy is definitely haunted. I don't know about. I, I, I don't know. He is most certainly haunted.
I don't, I don't care what the hell that little thing says. That guy is definitely haunted. What the hell was that? Dude, so much crap happened. We saw something purple skull on the camera. Bonnie literally, like, stared into my soul. We had something talking at the door, getting attacked by a goddamn ghost. Like, what in the goddamn hell was that? <laughs> Hello, William. How are things going with the new restaurant? Busy, but we're on track for a successful opening tomorrow. Glad to hear it. And have you taken all the necessary safety measures? Of course, I don't need anyone telling me how to run my business. And those employees who think otherwise can find work elsewhere. Uh, understood. And what about your family? How's everyone doing? Elizabeth has been with me at work the past few days. But as for Michael and Evan, been influenced by their mother's lies. Michael is too busy being a typical rebellious teenager. Devin is just a young child who doesn't understand the situation. Frankly, I'd rather keep my distance from them for the time being. They're at home at the moment. I see. Have you tried to have a conversation with your wife about this? It's not worth the effort. She's always been self-centered, doesn't care about the family's well-being. She's even had the audacity to call me a hypocrite. But let's not focus on that right now. Let's talk about the restaurant, shall we? Uh, sure, but don't forget about your family. They're important too. I don't need you to remind me of that. I know it's important. Now if there's nothing else, I have work to do. Actually, I just wanted to say that I worry about you. I hope the restaurant's success will make you happy. Thank you for your concern. I appreciate it, but I have no time for your pity. I'll talk to you soon. Ooh. Someone's going, oh, who the hell is that? Who is that? Who, who, who are both of those? I keep on, I keep on doing that because I'm, 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 I'm a cursor at the bottom of the screen. Congratulations on making it to night four. I must say, I'm impressed with your work so far. They're already gone. They're already doing a fine job, and I'm proud of you. Ah, my neck. Uh, feels like it's been bitten in half and twisted like a pretzel. I slept like a rock last night, but I woke up feeling like I got hit by a truck. I had this weird dream where I was half robot, half human, and let me tell you, I wasn't pretty. My legs were replaced with rusty old scrap metal, and I was clunking around like some kind of junkyard Frankenstein. <laughs> Can you imagine me like that? Talk about a nightmare. Anyway, enough about my weird dreams. Now, I must confess, I forgot to mention something earlier. We have some new robot prototypes in the building that we just introduced yesterday. My apologies for not mentioning this earlier, but you handled the situation like a pro, and no damage was done. It was to you. Now those robots are brand spanking new. They haven't even had their first oil change yet. They require some more work before they're ready for prime time. And to be honest, they're giving me the heebie-jeebies, especially that new bunny one. But on the bright side, that bunny's new hide-and-seek function is going to be a hit with the kids. Just make sure it doesn't start seeking you out too. <laughs> but I'm confident you'll handle it. You seem like a tough cookie. All right, so stick to the standard procedures and keep those robots out. Oh, by the way, I'm glad you participated in this morning's voice recording session for the tapes. You sounded fantastic. Who knows, maybe I'll need you again for any updates. Now, hold on a moment, I'm being interrupted. What's up, Karen? There's this document that just arrived. What? It's, well, it's better for you to look at it. Uh, a notice document about the closure of all our restaurants due to investigations regarding one of the founders being convicted of a crime. Yes. Including Fred Bear's family died. Yes. That's outrageous! I, uh, uh, uh. All right. All right, I understand. <clears throat> now, please return to whatever you are doing. Thanks for bringing the note, Karen. Uh, what? 
Karen, Karen, Karen. She's always trying to bring down the company. Ugh. But let me assure you, we have nothing to hide Wait, and nothing who's that? to fear. Fazbear Entertainment is as clean as a whistle, and that founder is as innocent as a newborn baby. Trust me on this one, kid. I apologize for that interruption. It is unpleasant news, but don't let it get you down. The closure of the restaurants won't mess with your work schedule, so you're good to go. Keep doing what you're doing, and you'll be just fine. Oh yeah, one more thing. If you keep hearing strange noises or distorted voices, it's probably just our new front bear roaming around. You know how these things go, always causing trouble. We're working on fixing its music box, which is also supposed to make him talk. But in the meantime, just remember to keep that door shut if it gets too close to your office. What the what? Alrighty then, keep up the good work, and I'll get you on the flip side. Okay. I needed that guy to stop talking a lot effing earlier, because I cannot effing hear anything over him. God damn it. Who the hell is that? We got another bunny banging on my goddamn door? Who the hell was that? How many teeth does this guy have? It looks like effing Nightmare Fred. Oh, and we're dead. Generator. What went to heaven? Door stuck. Door stuck, please. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I think calling me dead there was an understatement. <laughs> my whole look at my ass face ripped off. What the hell was that? Okay. That was uh something. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Shut. Shut. We have a lot going on here. And I need this flippin' Mr. Phone Man. I don't care if your restaurant's flippin'. About to explode. I need this. There is a lot of crap. Does this guy come from parts of service? Oh, yes, he does. I don't know who the hell the other 17 characters are that I was getting attacked by came from. Hey, Fredbear. This just got a whole lot more stressful. Very quickly. Oh, why do those eyes look so real human-like? Probably because they are human-like. Red Bear, piss off. Is this guy gonna, like... What is this guy gonna do? Is he gonna, like... The way he banged on the door... There's something at that door, dude. There was two of them there? Oh! What the fudge is he- What is- what, what is he doing? There's something there? Oh, it's singing. I'm dead. I'm dead to the puppet, probably. Puppets? Puppet! But What is that thing at the door? Like, it just... What is that thing at the door? Oh my god, I'm dead even harder this time. Yeah, did that custom death screen to every single character? God damn. I. <laughs> he's just swimming. He's just going. <gasps> he's just like eating up. 
like a dehydrated Snickers bar in my door, and I don't know what to do. Like, <laughs> I had the door closed for so goddamn long, it wouldn't shut up. I was afraid that this guy was gonna pull, like, a foxy or something. Because he was banging on the door like that. Like he did previously, reminding me of foxy. And I was afraid he was just gonna come and run, and I wouldn't have time to close the door. Oh, hey, why do you- why- why are you bald? Why? Whoa, it's- he's glitching never- it- wait, it's saying words! It will- it will catch you again? What does it- what does that say? It had a- it said a bunch of stuff there. And the camera's- dang, thanks, Bonnie, thanks. It was saying stuff there. It's like, it will catch you or something? Trust me, I'm aware. This game picked up the pace. Like, I heard this, the, the boing again. But it's there, it's at that door. What is it? You can hear it. What is that? Um, okay, we got you. It's just, I can hear it. It's just like breathing at my door. I think Fredbear is there now. What are you, is, is this guy like, he's like hiding his face or something. It's not like being looked at, I guess. Oh, what? Oh, what? <laughs> Okay. God damn. Jeez. <laughs> Holy hell. This game is nuts, bro. Hello, Willie. Hello, William. General Kenobi. So, I think how the guy in the Snickers bar my door works is you have to, like, he's, he, he's there, you can hear him, and then he the voice, like, or, like, the sound escalates. How, you see that? There's, like, a, there's, like, a purple... Freddy thing there. Why is that camera gone away now? Stop breaking my camera. Those things are, I think, expensive. A piece of crap. Oh, hey, Boro. He looks like he's trying to eat the camera. Like, look at him. And he just broke the camera again. Could you not? <laughs> I need that. Okay, like, see, here he is. But he's quiet. So I'm not gonna close the door yet. Oh! This guy scares me, man. I, I like how the sound like inverts whenever you, you 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 go back there. That's such a cool detail. It's like a uh, drive creation a little bit. That's a mouse. There we go. Close it! He's louder. Okay, there we go. Y'all now look at him. No one is home, you piece of crap. Hang on. I don't know when this guy's gonna attack. He's allowed, but... Okay, I still have a lot of heat. I just know both the guys on this side, so I can have that door closed a little bit. 
you know, it's definitely a lot, a lot, a lot louder now. I need you to F an attack, dude. Did I just... Attack! There we go. For f oh! <laughs> Okay, so that is how that works, though. No, I'm gonna. Go, I'm, I'm. I'm going over here. You won't kill me over here, Bonnie. Don't do this, Bonnie. Don't don't, don't do this. He 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 did this. Jesus Christ, these effing death screens go hard. <laughs> God damn, why do they all do these seems like thing? They just take my face. I need that. Any other Easter eggs around here? This is not the time to be doing this, but... Is that Afton's car up there? I think it's the car that he used in the, in the FNAF 2 minigame. Where he, uh... Commit kill. Okay, he's so loud. Dude, do something, please, I actually beg. Thank you. Good lord. That guy sucks balls, dude. The hell, how long is this puppet? Long boy? Run at the door. That I opened the door too early. <laughs> Something tells me I probably opened the door too early. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Hey. <laughs> This game is rough, dude. So I think with the flippin' Snickers bar eating a piece of crap at the left door, I think it's Fredbear No Eyes, man. You, it's like, he's like basically all you can hear over there. That's when you close it. Because otherwise you just have the effing door closed for three and a half years and then you thing overheats and crap sucks balls. Cause Lord, this game is so nuts, man. This reminds me of everything other about FNAF 1, because there was just so much crap going on in FNAF 1, you know? And, and game, game, games like the early, like, FNAF 1, FNAF 2, FNAF 3. There was so much crap happening on, like, the cameras and stuff. It's like, stuff like this, you know? Like, you don't get things like this in Security Breach. Like, it doesn't happen. See, did, did, did you say Ooga Booga? He said Ooga Booga, I swear. <laughs> Ooga Booga. Attack, 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 epic attack, police, attack. Thanks. God damn it. The fudge was that? The fu- I- I- what? The- the bobblehead just bobs on its own. You see that? Even the effing bobblehead's possessed now? God damn it, man. But look over here, you won't kill me. Okay, that. Do you hear that? That's when I close the goddamn door. That's when I close the goddamn door, when I hear it like that. That's when I close the goddamn door. Okay. When I hear him, like, 
literally I can't hear anything else besides this piece of crap. That's when I close the door. Hello, Only took me three and a half years to figure it out. Whoa, you see that? You see that? You see that? You see that? You see that, man. There was flippin' purple Freddy piece of crap right there, dude. Purple something. You saw that. There, there he is again. I see you, you purple hat wearing piece of garbage. I'm scared to open that door, dude. It's 5 a.m. Dead for a sec. I need to wait. I ah uh, I it's God damn it. It's so hard to flip in because the volume is like different when the door closes on the Fredbird man. And um obviously. And it's hard to figure out how loud like cause cause like how loud it is when the door's open, but how about how loud it is when the door's closed, you know? Cause I don't wanna open the door and just die, you know? Come on. Oh my god. Jesus, man. That is rough. Oh yeah, here's th 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 this piece of garbage. This guy. Burning in actual hell. Oh no, it's Desolate Hope. It's not Happiest Day. Arcade machine back there. This guy is... Yep, he's haunted out of his goddamn mind, I'll tell you that. Is this where my- I, he's gonna come alive and eat me? Dude, run. The alarm's going haywire. Run. Move. Please don't kill me. <gasps> he, he, did, did he lock me in? Bruh. Bruh. Bruh! Oh god. I'm calling to express my condolences. I can't even imagine what you're feeling right now. Oh, I know what this is. Thank you, Henry. Without a doubt, this is a tragedy. I'm sorry, William. If there's anything I can do, it's too late for that. It's too late for everything. Lost people too. I know what it feels like to feel that the world is coming to an end. No, you don't. You have no idea what it's like to lose a child. You have a perfect life. Your happy family. You don't know anything. You don't know how I feel right now. I'm sorry, William. I, I just enough. Enough. I can't even imagine what's happening to me right now. I understand that you're going through a difficult time, William, but please don't do anything rash. It won't solve anything. You're right, Henry. It won't solve anything. But I'm not interested in solving anything. I'm interested in... revenge. What do you mean? You have it all, don't you, Henry? A happy family, a fulfilling life, 
in the end, fate strikes without warning. William, I know. I'm truly sorry about what happened. Is there anything I can do to help? No. There's nothing you or anyone can do. But there are things that must be done. What things, William? That's not for you to worry about, Henry. Just remember this. Every action has a consequence. And some consequences are more dire than others. Yep. I think we know what that's about. Why is the cupcake more prominent now? Why? Why is everything red? Hello? Hey, good job, night five. Um, hey, um, keep a close eye on things tonight, okay? I just finished checking the CCTV camera footage and everything seems to be in order. You're doing great so far, but I need you to stay alert. We can't let anything go wrong, especially now. Now listen, I know things have been a bit strange lately. The building and the other restaurants are closed, and the police are still investigating the disappearance of around six children. It's a serious matter, and we're doing everything we can to help the authorities. Yet for some reason, police seem to think we're covering up evidence. But let me tell you something, that's not possible unless someone from our company is involved. And I can assure you, we're not involved in any way. For Christ's sake, one of those children belongs to one of the founders of this place. The poor kid disappeared about a month ago. It breaks my heart to think about it. We will get to the bottom of this, though. Whoever is behind these incidents will pay if something bad happened to those kids. And for the damage they've done to our company's reputation, you can count on that. In the meantime, keep up the good work. Check on those animatronics and let's finish this week strong. And when this is all over, mark my words, we'll take this company to new heights. We'll have entire malls dedicated to our lovable characters. The future's looking bright, my friend. Anyway, I gotta run to the cinema to catch Electric Eel 2. The Slithering. Love the first one, you know. <laughs> Alright, good luck tonight, and I'll see you bright and early tomorrow. That is the worst movie in history. Electric Eel 2 The Slithering? I think I would get more entertainment out of just punching myself in the face. Hello, sir? Did he attack? He's so loud. Oh, brother, dude. Did you hear how effing loud he was? What, Ooga Booga? That could not have been more on time. 
<laughs> I literally opened the door the millisecond he attacked. God damn it, man. Thing is, even like, I think, well, I don't know this, but even when he's like at his loudest, he still takes like a good time to attack, you know? Why is the cupcake here? What does he want? Whatever the hell gender that cupcake is. Man, I'm dead. <laughs> I was, he, he was attacking so much later than I thought he would. Wait. <laughs> There's no pause button. We got Chipper there. I just saw these flipping arcade machines. <laughs> <laughs> That's effing good. Why does this guy kind of sound like, sound like the effing Kool-Aid man? Oh, yeah! Oh, wait, what? You can do that? Wait, I know you could do that. Wow, I suck. How did I not figure that out? <laughs> I never knew you could shine your light at the doors like that. I mean, that probably helps. I've been doing this. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, I suck. <laughs> that, that, I thought. I don't know if shining the light at him actually messed something up, but I thought he could get one step louder. I guess not. I did not effing realize you could shine light at the doors. I I I I don't know how much that would even help though. Because it almost felt like it killed me faster there, but that might have just been the fact that I'm stupid. I never effing knew you could shine a light at these stupid doors. <laughs> how did I not figure that out? <laughs> like, how did I take me so long to figure that out? Like, what? Why? <laughs> Why do I suck? I don't know how much that actually helps, but it probably does, because I can play a hell of a lot easier to tell when the guy's about to attack. And you can just see him. Ugh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh! <sighs> Dude, I knew he was there. I did not expect. <laughs> Look, so you can see him there. Why? <laughs> I knew he was there. I did not expect him to just go Be like a fucking cardboard cutout. Like, Hey, bud. That's so much easier, dude. That's so much easier, dude. Like, what was I doing the whole time? <laughs> What the hell? <laughs> Why am I just stupid? You know what they say, you can't cure stupidity. Oh, hey, endoskeleton. Why is there just an endoskeleton in a room with a effing laundry machine? La laundry machine, yeah, that's, 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 that's what they're called, good one. Dude, he went Ooga Booga again. Dude, that is so many worlds easier. What is wrong with me, dude? Run. Run. Like, I don't even have to think about it anymore, dude. Like, what- What was I doing for so long time? Oh, Jesus. Wait. See? I don't have to think about it. I use the power of magic. And, you know, 
the left mouse button. Okay, what the hell? He stopped banging about three and a half effing years ago. What was that? <laughs> it was like a full effing like second or two after he stopped effing banging. How long do you have to wait, dude? I love how they move, like... That's such an underrated, like... Addition. Do FNAF fan game. It's having the characters just m actually move a little bit, you know? Like, stuff like that. Like, that adds so much to, like, the... To, like, the terror of the game, you know? Like, even if it's just, like, a little bit, you know? It adds so much. Okay, did I wait long enough this time? Thank you. You see the, the, the possessed bobblehead? Piss off. Oh, uh, oh, 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 hold up, hold up. Uh oh. Uh, accidentally. Uh, uh. I'm dead. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> God, I, I accidentally, I accidentally flipped clicked out of the game and messed with the record. Oh my God, how do you even do that, dude? I accidentally clicked out of the game and after the recording, so I was trying to fix it. <laughs> How do you even physically manage to do that? You have to be me. That's the only way you can do that. Oh, fuck! <laughs> Fudge me, why does that so- <laughs> I know he's there, like... <laughs> it should not be that effing scary. Like... Putting your hand in front of your face and scaring yourself with it. Did, 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 did he just say grapes? You hear that? It's not like he just went grapes? He, he got cut off. You hear that? His bang got cut off by another bang. Okay, 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 we did it, we did it. Night five. I know there's gonna be a night six, but what happens now? So... It has been many years since the incident that changed everything. I have done unforgivable things since then. The missing children. It was all my doing. But do not mistake my confidence for remorse, for I am not sorry. My animatronics were always meant to be more than mere entertainers. They were created to wield fear, to evoke terror, and bring forth the ultimate consequence, death. Oh, Elizabeth, my sweet Elizabeth, she failed to listen to me. She became the unfortunate victim of a programming error, a mere flaw in my creation. But I could not bear the burden of responsibility, for that would tarnish my flawless image. Instead, I pushed the blame away onto others, for I could not admit fault. And then there was Charlotte, Henry's daughter. I could not bear to see him bask in all his happiness and receive all the credit for our work. 
My jealousy consumed me, and I had to take matters into my own hands. Do not think for a moment that I fear the consequences of my actions. I am not guilty, not in my mind. I meticulously crafted the evidence to make it appear as though Henry was the one responsible, for I had bigger plans in mind. Plans that require my full attention and dedication. I have built a new place for my new creations. A place that will instill wonder and fear into the heart of all who bear witness. And soon, I will reveal what is coming next. Oh, I recognize that sound. I know that. I hear that, and I know that. Oh, that music. It brings back memories. Wow. Wow. Lost child Susie Chambers. Still missing. Wow. Um. What a game, dude. Massive, massive shout out to everybody who made this game. All the credit goes to them. Oh, these. Oh, yeah, these are the kids. That, okay, I know who these kids are. Um, <laughs> Susie, Fritz, Gabriel, and Jeremy, or something like that. I don't remember the names. Um, wow. I, I, I cannot <laughs> believe this, honestly. This, this, this game is a, um, is a work of art. It's, it's, it really is crazy, man. Wow. What's this? God damn it. <laughs> There's, there's night six, you know, payday. Delivery of my organs flat on a silver platter. Here we go. This is gonna go not good. It's Waffle Brokey here. Listen, I have bad, bad news here. There's a, there was a terrible accident with one of our employees at another pizzeria. It was that damn yellow suit based on spring lock technology. It's caused some real trouble. We've made the decision to stop using the costumes altogether. One more incident like this and our business is ruined. Uh, now listen carefully. I need you to meet me in the morning after your shift. 
We'll record new instruction tapes to send out to the other restaurants that have these costumes, and I'll explain exactly what you need to do. Again, simple as last time. You know what? I have a theory that someone may be sabotaging the functionality of these costumes on purpose. It's a real shame, too. They used to be one of our biggest draws. But we'll get to the bottom of this. Whoever's responsible will be held accountable. But enough about that. Let's talk about you. Congratulations on making it to night six. You're a real pro now. I'm impressed. I've got your payment ready and waiting for you. Meet me in the morning and we'll settle up. Until then, keep an eye on those animatronics. You never know what they might do. Especially now. Good luck, and I'll see you soon. Thanks. Is he attacked yet? Yes. Perfect. Crying out loud, dude. Give me three milliseconds to have the goddamn doors open. I'm not closing the door yet. I'm gonna wait a sec. By a sec, I mean literally a second. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> He just takes so effing long to attack, man. Within no wise Fredbear man. Like, he just doesn't attack for like three and a half years. Like, you can wait, like, after he appears at the door, you can wait like a good probably 10 seconds before closing it. Like, he just doesn't effing attack. It's cracking, bro. Oh! Bah. <laughs> Why? Why did I do that? This is bad. This is actually really bad. It's actually so bad. Okay. Attack. Thank you. Okay, we're good. We're, we're, I, th I think we're all right. We just need to... Be able to chill for a second. Oh, come on. Come on. What are, what are we doing? Please. No effing. Oh my god. <gasps> that was the closest. Oh my effing god, dude. That could not have been more down to the wire. Hello? There was someone that night. Oh, I didn't try the keypad. I called for help, but no one came for me. Now I feel different. can't disappear. Not now. I found others who are just like me. They need my help. Assuming this is Charlotte. I must save them. I 
I must guide them. I will give them their happiest day. Yeah, they all are. Oh! <laughs> God damn! Is that like the end for real this time, or like... Wow. Wow. Oh, hey. Wait, my dear Scott. After recent unexpected events following the acquisition of our company by another organization, we have to create a change our plans regarding your future work at one of our establishments. Service Tailway Dining Improvement will be extraordinary value. It was to offer you a new contract at our different local establishment for the day shift job. To check your mailbox, respond to us if possible. Freddy and his gang are waiting for you. Hey, I got $99. Didn't you say I got like 105 or something? Did I just get gypped? Delivering funds in 1979. Thanks. Uh, five children now reported missing. Suspect identified. Let back room, then free of the subject identified as Henry Emily, yep. This music is so loud. Whoa, 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 calm it down there. Turn music down a little bit. Uh, where a man dressed as a golden cartoon character mascot led into the back room. Henry Emily, one of the two founders of Fatbird Entertainment. All of was confirmed by security camera footage report registered during the incident. Yeah. So, is this like... The ending for real this time. Once again, <laughs> an amazing game. Um, absolutely amazing. All the credit, everything goes to the people who worked on this game. Kazowski, Seal Dude, um, Boy Three Nine Five game. Everybody, the the coding, whatever, the voice acting, but was amazing. Honestly, the voice acting between, especially the voice actors of William and Henry, like, that was really good. <laughs> Gen Pen, the true Ragu. If it had been Jesse Causey as William, you did, you nailed it. Chris Mitchell, Elijah Boyd, Nikki Biro, I'm probably pronouncing all of those names wrong. Voice acting was supreme. Kidiopus, Fippin, I probably said that wrong too, Fippin, for the Night 6 music. Amazing. Unvoice, Baddington, JJ Kennedy, Dima Jazzed, Valed, Miro, KDM, Vlat, Imran, Priest, Blue Girl 64, Papa Raziel 666, and Matt. Massive shout out to all these people. Piffin, this game is truly something special. Cassidy. And it's a state of Utah. Not that way means anything. But. Wow. We got challenges, custom night. Um, honestly good. That was cool. Um, I think this is so cool. So you got Fredbear, then Fredbear 2.0, I guess, is the one that attacks you. The other one, Bears Attack, Easter Bunnies, and 2020. Undead Classic, Newcomers. Um, honestly, I don't think I'm gonna do that. Um, game modes, what's this? Um, oh, no sound, endless, growing. 
alternative survival mode, which is difficulty increases in time before a second, the gets to get harsher from 1 to 20. Oh, that's cool. Real time. Enjoy six real life hours of this game mode? Jesus. Puppet Master. Um, the scary puppet instead of adding difficulty it will, will multiply every time you get caught. Preset difficulty percent very easily. We can't how you play a low budget. Bring over here is 100% less than standard, but it cools faster. Endless, so most of the you can. No sound. Ships all sound in the game. Deal with the preset percent to hot. I am honestly good. Can you enable? Can you, can, you can't just enable all of those, but imagine six hours without sound. <laughs> game gets harder every 40 seconds. <laughs> Like, I'm actually good. <laughs> Extras. Fredbear. First time trying the Henry had created together with Spring Bonnie. Fredbear had been modeled after the toys that Henry, the Henry's daughter, Charlotte, had grown up playing with. After a while, I had given Henry the idea to create another bear character with a black hat and dark brown colors. Yeah, that would be Fredders. Fre Fred, Fred Durst. Uh, oh, that's cool. Oh, that's sick, dude. It's like move like the mouse. That is actually so effing cool, dude. What the hell? Spring Bonnie entertains children and sings on the on stage with his best friend Fred Bear. They symbolize the friendship between Henley and, and William. Founders of Fred Bear's family diner. Later on, a new version was built. This has been particularly interesting for William and extremely useful for his future plans. Fred Bear 2.0. He, uh, yeah, he, 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 didn't, he didn't do so well. Making new versions of Fred Bear's Spring Bonnie was William's idea. With a larger budget and greater knowledge, they were able to replace the current versions. Since these ones had many improvements and were safer to wear. The suit will be haunted by a vengeful spirit, but that is a story for another time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this guy doesn't like being looked at, apparently. This suit became William's favorite. Initially created to entertain children, he used it for murder. Sometime in future, William will merge with the suit and be reborn in a spring trap by a reanimated walking corpse looking for his neck to victim. Yeah. And then the puppet, this thing is just... One of the, like, most unique designs of the puppet I've ever seen. In constant fear that his daughter will be harmed, Henry had a def way to defend her even when he was not able to keep his eyes on her. The security puppet had he had devised with a perfect solution. At least he thought that it was, but instead of becoming her guardian angel, it became a vacuum for her soul. Yep. Then Endo. Oh, yeah, we saw these like in like the hallways and stuff. Endo skeleton was the first of its kind. It was able to move and walk around on its own and also gave an opportunity to the employees to use it as a costume. And it has very advanced and charming technology, but this also makes it incredibly dangerous. Yeah. Then we got jump scares. <laughs> These jump scares are so cool. I didn't- hang on. You can see that the keys actually move on the wall here whenever he jumps here. That's actually such a cool detail. I'm- I'm, I'm good, thank you. <laughs> the puppet was the only one that never killed me, I think. Uh, locations. This is for all the cameras, I'm assuming, dining area. Oh, this is them like, like out the static entrance arcade. Does that say rage quit? I don't know that. I can't. T I don't know what that says. Desolate hope, sit and survive. I don't know what that one says or that one. Mushrooms, central hall, parts and service. I just got them there. This is where String Bunny 2.0 would come out of. Left Hall. I saw these. I, th I thought they were, they were posters, but no, they're just toys. Right Hall. Miscellaneous. It's just like little. This is oh, this for, for, for the the menu. Oh, House of My Dear Friend and Partner William, summer 1979. Uh, uh there were a lot of cool um also like Easter eggs and with the camera and stuff. Cutscenes. Get the game and play it at least once in all game modes in order to unlock all cutscenes. Cutscene. Oh, okay. Yeah. There's probably more cutscenes, but maybe we'll come back and do those at some point. I don't, I don't know. And cut content. I know this game had a lot of um, old version. Oh, it used to have like stairs. I know this game went through a lot of. Uh, Went through a lot of stuff. Office difference. Oh, that's cool. 
new. Okay, so it's like. Oh, no, this is new old. So this is the current one, this is the old one. Just updated, they put a couple more things. So that's cool. They updated the, the sticky note on the paper, or on the thing, on the fan. I still, I didn't do anything with the, with, the, with, the, with the keypad. I know there's gonna be something with that. The puppet, old version. She looks pretty good. I like how like the little things in her head, like they, 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 they like jiggle. My 2.0 run. Whoa, that was weird. It's like running sideways. That's so weird. It's probably because it's like work in progress. It was never finished, but I would have loved to see that old custom night. It used to be. Oh, that's cool. How like Fred Bear's like. Remember 2.0 is like leaning out of his uh of his, of his little cage there, and so is Ring Bonnie and Fred Bass cool. Game over screen. Oh wow, okay. Just for every single character. The old version of game over screen. I still I love the, the current ones, they're so good. It's the new ones. Old loading screens Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Custom night. This game is truly a work of art, man. Achievements? I don't think I I didn't sign in through Game Jolt, so I'm not gonna have any achievements. But um, what a game, really! What a game. Absolute legendary game, honestly. Um, once again, massive shout out to everybody who worked on the game. Absolutely amazing. Go go check out the Game Jolt page. Go check out. All the people who made the game, play the game for yourself, support. Because this game is amazing. But, uh, yeah. Thank you for watching. And, uh, I guess I will catch you guys in the next one.